Jason Barber. Good morning, Jason. Hello, good morning. Uh, I apologize for not being here for the entire meeting. Uh, I was actually speaking over at Portland City Hall uh, a few minutes ago. Um, something I, I would like to mention is speaking of uh, moving forward with issues. I am no longer a member of the Transcribers Union. Uh, I was uh, not like an officially incorporated nonprofit or organization. Um, uh, and I am no longer uh, involved uh, with that. I uh, send out a press release uh, to various media outlets uh, detailing uh, that move uh, earlier this month. Um, with, with having said that, that doesn't mean that I no longer care about transit issues or, or anything else. I attended TriMet board meetings well before I, uh, I joined that uh, group. Uh, to the new board members, welcome to the TriMet board. Um, something I would like to mention today is I have not worn this shirt in four and a half years un until today. Uh, what this represents is three months over the summer of 2005 when uh, over a thousand volunteers got together and said, and, and said in a nonpartisan effort, we need to keep transit service and basic transit service on the road in Clark County, Washington, uh, specifically for C-TRAN, uh, which is uh, the agency in Clark County, Washington. Uh, they were facing a huge uh, issue at that time due to uh, voter-mandated uh, uh, funding constraints and, and things. And they got a, a, a tax increase passed at a time when people were saying, my taxes are too high, government is too big, uh, there's too much government intervention. And, and people got together and said, regardless of what political philosophy they were involved in, you know, we got to have, all, you know, we, we, we have to have local transit service. So what I'm saying is if it could be done in Clark County in 2005, we could definitely be doing it in Portland, Oregon in 2010, and I believe we could keep TriMet running uh, as it is and even bring back some of the service uh, that's been cut in, in recent years. Uh, additionally, with uh, Fred Hansen's departure in June, uh, is it really that much to ask uh, that TriMet look for a general manager who will primarily run the system versus, uh, you know, versus going to Australia for things or to Copenhagen for speeches? Now, I'm not saying that those aren't important, but uh, I, I believe that we really need someone who's going to really run the system as, as, as their primary ob objective. Uh, now, this is coming at the same time as a public comment period for the current service cut proposal, and I will be submitting a comprehensive idea set uh, for what I would like to see. Now, I realize that staff will probably say, well, this is moot. We want to know what you think about our proposal. And I really believe uh, that TriMet staff uh, should uh, uh, pay more attention to things, and instead of saying, Let's look at every little piece and, and not look at the whole, you know, how does this piece fit in with the whole, not just, well, this is one line, we're not going to worry about where the transfers are or if it meets other buses in downtown corridors and transit centers, uh, but it, we really do need to look at um, how does this really work uh, for uh, the general public. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Burrow. All right, is there uh, any further business? Yes, let me uh, Just a, uh, two comments and then a question, Mr. Chairman. Uh, and I would like to say to Darla Sturdy here, look, Darla, you have made a difference, as the Chairman said. There is now a federal, professional federal safety inspector involved in the process. That probably wouldn't have happened had you not brought all this before us. And, and you have, believe it or not, you have made it a lot of difference. And as I said to you last time, and I looked at this very hard, you know, I've walked through the whole process of it, as I've only been here a year and a half, but I will say a public review committee would not help. That safety, that federal expert is going to do the job that, that they wouldn't even be able to do. So. But I do thank you for bringing that before us. And we have all lived with it. Uh, they all have. They talk 
walked off away from here. All the board feels free. And then, Mr. Chairman, I'd just like to ask you, well, uh, before we get spend a lot of money and get out into a search for Fred's replacement, have we evaluated uh, the ones inside of our organization that I, I think we should give consider? I believe in hiring from within. Uh, Jason's comment right there that he just made was uh, very apropos of that that let's look within our organization for someone, and I believe we have qualified people before we have to spend extra money and go out and spend time bringing people here and even from within or without the region. So I'd just like to, and I'm asking that question, are we looking within our own organization to promote someone? And the answer to that is uh, obviously yes. and. Uh, I share many of uh, the sentiments that you're uh, uh, talking about. I do think that in a role this big and this visible and a role that is replicated across the country in uh, every transit area that we do benefit by a uh, national search. Uh, ultimately, the board will decide uh, who sits in that role, and we have established by uh, definitions under the resolutions that have been adopted the process we go through, and that process is the same as what we're going through for the operations role and what we went through, in fact, when we retained uh, Fred as general manager 11 years ago. So, uh, by all means, uh, you know, if, if uh, there are internal candidates, those candidates we would encourage and want to see advance forward. Well, I was just looking to cut short. I know these are trying times for mm -hmm. trying that. And economics is a question, and certainly. Mm -hmm. you know, but I don't know if I believe a national search is, is really necessary. Uh, well, that's, that's my point. Right. I, I think we have good qualified people. Yeah, I, I can appreciate that. And as always, uh, your opinion is welcomed. And the national search is underway. It has already started and it will be concluded. We should have this process wrapped up and a recommendation for the board uh, by the 28th of next month. Well, we, who authorized the national search? We, we hadn't discussed it as a board. Why are we moving to a national search before we look within our own? Well, and, we, and we're spending money? We're hiring someone to do a national search for us? Um, what we typically have done, and certainly in the past, uh, uh, whether it's for the executive director of operations, a current vacancy with Steve Banta having left, uh, we have used a, a local uh, expert, uh, Roger Pringle, who is, uh, uh, who is here, um, to be able to help us screen people for that executive director of operations. Um, when I made my decision to be able to, uh, uh, to leave at the end of the con my contract, um, we just asked Roger to be able to, uh, uh, to uh, evaluate candidates in that relationship. There are people who are interested from across the country. Uh, Roger will be screening those people. Um, this is less a solicitation and more because of the, of the attractiveness of this, uh, uh, of this area, uh, the reputation of TriMet. Uh, it has a lot of interest, and so we felt it uh, appropriate to be able to evaluate those interested candidates. Uh, uh, nobody's out there looking for ones who are not uh, making application, uh, but it, uh, uh, I think that there are uh, candidates internal to TriMet that are absolutely excellent, but I do think that you uh, have the ability to be able to make that evaluation. Um, the cost is relatively minimal. Don't know what that number is, but it's very minimal because it gets tagged on to the executive director of operations search. Okay. Sorry, I just, uh, um, wanted to say a last word um, to Ms. Sturdy, who's um, been here quite often. And I do think you've made a difference as well. I think um, it's, it's important, the issues that you've brought up, so I don't think any of us minimize that. It's just we could talk about it for such such a long time. I think if the expert that's been brought in, if there are issues that maybe that person isn't seeing or things that then get brought to our attention, I think we would have a further conversation on that. So I don't want you to leave thinking that, you know, we, we haven't um, really paid attention to it and, and talked among ourselves because we have. I guess my concern just was that expert was one that has been here for three years 
and I've done this for six and a half years, and so I'm just seeing the same thing. And I respect every single one of you, and I know that being ahead of TriMet and doing this, that sometimes that you don't see the full picture. And so I'm just saying from an outsider as a citizen, I think the citizens need to see the full picture. And it's just for the safety of everybody, including your family. Well, we respect your opinion. Um, but, you know, I, I agree with Lynn. I think uh, that's not necessarily the solution for now. Uh, but I think we just wanted to say thank you for your time. Okay, no further business. We are adjourned. <laughs>